Experts predict that by 2030, AI will automate over 50% of current jobs. That's not just a disruption, it's a potential identity crisis. When I first heard that, it wasn't just mind-blowing, it was terrifying. Because just a few years ago, a big chunk of my job could easily have been on that list. But then, something clicked. The scale of this AI revolution hit me. This isn't like going digital first or mobile first. Those were big shifts, sure. But this feels different. People compare AI to the discovery of electricity, of fire, even the invention of the wheel. That's how transformative this is. Want to know if I'm legit? Want a head start on exploring this AI future? Take a snapshot of these codes. One leads to my website so you can see what I'm about. The other unlocks my Notion site. Think of it as your AI journey toolkit with breakdowns of what we're discussing, extra resources, and ways to keep the conversation going. Okay, let's be honest. Who enjoys public speaking? But you're all here for a reason, and I'm fired up to share what I've learned about the future with AI. This is like my fourth trip around the sun. Cell phones, the dot-com boom, social media revolution. Luckily, I missed out on the crypto NFT craze while pandemic farming. And now, AI. And now here I am again, on the bleeding edge, and I came to tell you not just what I'm seeing, but how I'm learning to adapt along the way. But there's this question I can't shake. How do we stay grounded in this world where the rules keep changing? Let's spend the next few hours figuring that out together. We're going to dig into what it really means to have an AI mindset. This isn't just about technology. It's about adaptability, creativity, and a relentless drive to learn. Why is upgrading our programming so crucial right now? The AI revolution isn't some far-off future, like it's shaping our world today. I'm not here to proclaim that AI will save us, nor do I think it will destroy us. Its impacts will depend on how we choose to interact with it. So I invite everyone here to join me on a journey. Let's open to the future and figure out how to run alongside AI and build the skills and connections we need, even when the ground beneath our feet keeps shifting. I'm grateful to be here. Thanks for coming out. I'm excited to share my insights and analyses from the front lines and get your thoughts as well. Let's do this. Imagine a tool so versatile that it can be woven into the very thread of our daily lives, invisible yet indispensable. That's AI for you folks. But where can we actually experience this AI magic? To guide us, let's take a look at this fascinating graphic from Harvard Business Review. It breaks down how people are using generative AI, a powerful form of AI that's creating a whole new world of possibilities. As you can see, the graphic highlights six key themes. I'm going to walk you through a universe of possibilities where AI isn't just a sidekick. It's becoming a co-creator, a mentor, and sometimes even a muse. Whether you're a creator, a thinker, a problem solver, or just AI curious, there's a spot for you in this brave new world. By the end of this talk, you might just find that spot and start to see AI as your new best friend in innovation. Take a look at the top left corner. It says technical assistance and troubleshooting. And that makes up 23% of the use cases identified in this study. This tells us that people are using AI to solve everyday problems, like getting help with software or hardware issues. It's transforming customer support, making it faster and more accessible. My friend has been experimenting with voice-powered AI chatbots for tech troubleshooting. Let's see it in action. Let's give a shout-out to my friend Gerline, 
who's been experimenting with this tech and bravely agreed to help me demo it live. You can see how this saves time for both customers and support staff. Basic questions get instant answers and the AI can gather info to make the whole experience seamless even if you need to talk to a human specialist in the end. But this isn't just about convenience. Think about how AI-powered support makes technology more inclusive. Whether you're a tech whiz or someone who struggles with every new gadget, AI can meet you where you are. Let's move on to the section titled Content Creation and Editing. That makes up a whopping 32% according to the graphic. This tells us that a lot of creative minds are embracing AI as a valuable partner, and for good reason. AI is transforming how we write and edit content. But what if AI could do more than just catch typos and suggest synonyms? What if it could actually learn to mimic your unique voice and style? The idea is simple. Instead of just grammar checks, we can leverage AI to personalize the entire writing process, feeding it all the ingredients that make your writing you. Let's visualize how this works. Think of it like a recipe. First, we have the raw ingredients, my ideas captured through dictation on my phone. This reflects all my unfiltered thoughts and inspiration. Next comes the secret sauce. My personal writing style guide. I want my bot to also reflect my slightly ironic, tech-savvy sense of humor. Let me show you a few snippets from my training manual to give you a taste. Prompt 1. Quote, Embrace cyber culture satire. When discussing smartphones, quip about how they've evolved from communication tools to become our digital overlords. Unquote. Prompt 2. Quote, Utilize modern linguistic playfulness. Coin new terms for modern phenomena like apathy for the overwhelming indifference one feels when sifting through countless app updates. These are actual instructions and examples I'm giving my AI. I want it to understand not just what I write, but how I think about the world. This might seem silly, but humor is how we process change. AI is a big change, so a little laughter helps us embrace it, not fear it. That's why I firmly believe AI tools should be both powerful and playful. Then, we add some depth of flavor with my worldview and perspectives document. These are my core beliefs and values that I want to shine through in everything I write. Let's not forget the confidence boost. <laughs> I have a file filled with kudos endorsements, and positive feedback I've received. A little reminder of what resonates with my people is always nice. Finally, we add a sprinkle of personality with my Bits and Bobs collection. These are funny anecdotes and personal stories that add a human touch and help readers connect. All these ingredients go into the magic AI pot and what comes out. A polished piece of writing that sounds exactly like me, but with the benefit of clear structure, a consistent voice, and maybe even a few surprise insights I hadn't even noticed buried in my dictation. AI doesn't replace the writer. It empowers us. By personalizing the process, we can free ourselves from writer's block and focus on the big ideas we want to share with the world. Okay, folks, what excites me most about AI isn't just about work. It's how it can transform our understanding of ourselves. We're seeing AI-powered coaches, tools for self-discovery, but the most powerful applications sometimes come from the tools we build ourselves. Let me give you a real-life example. I've always wondered about the patterns in my own thinking. What makes me tick, you know? To really dig into that, I actually built my own introspection bot using AI. It lets me analyze my old journals, work notes, anything I've written down. Here's the big takeaway. AI has the potential to unlock insights we'd never get through traditional self-reflection. And the amazing thing is, 
You don't need a PhD in computer science to do this. The same principles I applied can be used by anyone. Now enough talk. Let me show you how this actually works. This bot isn't just for looking backwards. It helps me face challenges in real time. Pull out phone. Okay, here's a dilemma I'm dealing with right now. Dictate a short, relatable challenge. Let's see what my bot has to say. Project the AI response for the audience. Whoa, okay, I was not expecting it to take that angle. It's giving me a few perspectives here. There's the practical to-do list side, which I always need, but also a reminder to check in with myself emotionally about this. Interesting. This is just a small taste, obviously, but it shows the power of having a kind of AI companion to help us think on multiple levels, make better decisions, and bring our whole selves to every problem. Imagine what kind of tool you could create to support your own personal and professional growth. The possibilities are truly endless. We just explored how AI is revolutionizing personal growth. But what if AI could also revolutionize how we communicate and share knowledge? That's the fascinating world of AI-powered avatars, and I've been diving headfirst into this myself. I'm constantly experimenting with new AI tools to see how they can be used in creative and meaningful ways. Recently, I took on a project that pushed me way out of my comfort zone. I wanted to see if I could use AI to create a video version of myself that seamlessly speaks multiple languages. Imagine the impact for education, for building global communities, and for opening up entirely new forms of cross-cultural connection. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Motley Krug Podcast, where we delve into the avant-garde crossroads of art, technology, and life's most intriguing questions. I'm your host, Chris Krug, your tech artist, quasi-sage, and for today, your cyberpunk linguistic maestro. Now, I have something straight out of sci-fi to share with y'all today. Buckle up, because we're about to break down some serious language barriers and invite the world into our ever-evolving digital tribe. Trust me, this is some next-level shit. I've been up to me eyeballs in the enigmatic world of generative AI lately, and the possibilities have really got my wheels turning. I've always wondered what it would sound like to hear myself speaking flawless Japanese, Swahili, or even Russian. Well, thanks to sweet new tech from Eleven Labs, HeyGen, and Anthropic, I won't have to wonder anymore. I've built a multilingual deepfake experience, but wait, don't tune out. This isn't a dystopian tale. It's a snapshot of the magnificent present. I've put together a series of videos that break down not just technical boundaries, but also cultural and linguistic ones. The goal is simple, to invite everyone, whether you're from California like me, or from as far away as Okayama or Kampala, into our inclusive global digital community. Now, before we get into the audio snippets from these videos, let me set the record straight. Ethics first. This video, nor the ones to follow, are intended to be deceptive deepfakes. Each video has been carefully crafted with utmost respect for the cultures and traditions. The goal is not to mislead, but to bridge gaps, to foster a respectful exchange of ideas, and to ignite connections across this tiny planet of ours. So, without further ado, here's a glimpse of my AI clone greeting you beautiful souls in seven different languages. I hope you're sitting down and have your headphones in. You're about to hear me like you've never heard me before. Welcome to Chris Krug's Global Digital Tribe, Bridging Worlds Through Language and Creative Technology. مرحباً بكم في القبيلة الرقمية العالمية لكريس كروغ جسر العوالم من خلال اللغة والتكنولوجيا الإبداعية. كوري سكروغوك شان شين نغورو بارو دزي تارو توراي بوهي يوكوسو يان يو توكوريتي بو تكونو روزي وطون زي تشي جي وطسوناغو. بهي قبيله ديجيتال جهاني كريس كروغ خوش عام ديد. دنیا ہر آئز طریق زبان و فناوری خلاقیتی پل میں زند ہوان ینگ لائی داؤ کریس کرگ دے کون چیو شو زبولو تونگ وو یو یان ہے چونگ یی کے جیلین جیے شی جیے 
Dobro pozhalovat w global noe cyfrowoe plemia Krisa Kruga, co jedyniaja miry szeres i jazyk i twórczeskie technologii. Krys Kruk je almi digital kabila me khush amdid, zaban or tachliki technologi ki zariye deniyao ko melati hai. Krys Kruk ki global digital tribe me aapka swagat hai. Bhasha or creative technologi ke madhyam se dunia jodor rahe hai. There you have it. I told you this was going to be a fucking trip. I would absolutely love to hear what you think. So after you catch your breath, hit me up. You know my digital doors are always open. So yeah, fuck yeah. Cheers to a future devoid of language barriers and someday to borders and countries as we know them. And hugs and high fives to each and every one of you for being an integral part of this awesome journey. Okay, I've got to admit, it's still a little surreal seeing myself speaking languages I don't actually know. But the potential here is undeniable. To make this, I used Eleven Labs for the voice cloning, HeyGen for the visuals, and ChatGPT helped with translations. And yes, I even used AI to help edit it all together. Obviously, technology like this raises important ethical questions. That's why I'm committed to using AI responsibly and transparently. Deception is not the goal here. Connection is. This is just one example, but think about all the ways AI-powered communication could change how we share information and ideas on a global scale. Imagine a world where language is never a barrier to understanding. AI isn't just changing how we work, it's transforming how we play and express ourselves. From writing poetry to making incredible visual art, get ready to see how AI is unleashing a wave of creativity. The amazing thing is, you don't need years of technical training to use these tools. AI is democratizing art, opening up creative possibilities for everyone. Let's play. I'm going to use Midjourney to generate some visuals live. You shout out ideas, landscapes, abstract concepts, anything. Let's see what the AI can do. Have a few backup prompts ready in case the audience is shy. Notice how quickly we can start to generate a lot of interesting possibilities. This is perfect for rapid prototyping and design or just getting a flood of inspiration. Sometimes, the most interesting results are the ones we never would have imagined ourselves. In fact, some people view AI's tendency to hallucinate as a negative, but in creative work, it's actually a feature, not a bug. It opens up possibilities beyond our own limited imagination. Remember, AI is our collaborator, not our replacement. These tools spark ideas. They push us to think differently about our own creative process, and that's the power of the AI mindset. The amazing thing about all these AI tools we've been exploring is the more you use them, the more powerful they become. The data you generate is like buried treasure, and AI helps you find it. My secret weapon for this is Notion. It's my digital brain where I store everything from project notes to AI-generated content. Think of it as my ever-growing treasure chest of ideas. On its own, Notion is great, but paired with AI, it's next level. I can search my notes intuitively, find connections I'd never spot on my own, and surface valuable insights that help me make better decisions. Here's the exciting part. AI-powered analysis gets better with time. The more you use it, the more context it has, the smarter its suggestions become. It's like compounding interest, but for your knowledge base. Uh, whether you're doing market research, analyzing patient data, or strategizing for your own business, AI helps you unlock the hidden value in your information. And that's a game changer. Okay, we just explored the incredible potential of AI to reshape how we work, create, and even understand ourselves. But remember, the only limit to this potential is our imagination. 
But let's remember, even with incredibly powerful AI, the human element is what sets truly transformative projects apart. Let's discuss the essential skills that help us ask the right questions, understand the outputs, and ensure these tools reflect our values and goals. First up, prompting. Prompting is like giving instructions to a superpowered but slightly clueless alien. The more precise your language, the more mind-blowing the results. This isn't just about efficiency. It's about pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. Ask unexpected questions, get surprising results. Speaking of surprises, even the best ideas need direction. That's where workflow comes in. Workflow is your roadmap in a constantly shifting landscape. Design it well, and you'll navigate the creative process with agility and focus. Efficient workflows aren't rigid. They allow for the unexpected. When a brilliant AI output throws a curveball, your workflow is what keeps you on track. Of course, to make the most of those brilliant outputs, you need a way to manage them. AI's power lies in iteration and remixing. Without organization, you'll drown in ideas. Think of it as building the archive that fuels your future breakthroughs. Rigorous systems aren't about being rigid. They're about freeing your brain for the big picture stuff, not hunting for files. Speaking of the big picture, let's move from managing our ideas to how we present them. Compositing is where the digital and the real collide. It's about more than seamless images. It's about crafting the world we'll actually inhabit. It's about making the synthetic feel authentic, not just to the eye, but to all our senses. How will we tell what's real in a truly composite world? Sometimes, to make that distinction, we need AI that can truly think like we do. That's the power of model training. Training models is where you imprint your unique voice onto AI. It's the difference between a generic tool and a bespoke creative partner. Training unlocks control, but it also creates space for happy accidents. Your data teaches the AI, then the AI surprises you right back. Your data teaches the AI, then the AI surprises you right back. This collaborative loop is the future of innovation. It's where you shape the tool and the tool shapes you. These AI skills aren't just about efficiency, they're about unlocking a whole new level of creative potential where human ingenuity and machine intelligence work hand in hand. This incredible power comes with immense responsibility. To ensure this collaboration is a force for good, we need to build a moral compass alongside our technical skills. That means nurturing discernment, critical thinking, and a commitment to using AI in ways that reflect our values. Let's embrace the challenge of becoming ethical innovators. That's where AI's soft skills come in. Let's be honest, AI is mind-blowing. It holds incredible potential. But to truly tap into it, we need to adopt a mindset of curiosity, adaptability, and constant learning. This is the foundation of making the most of this incredible tech. AI is a vast, uncharted landscape. To be successful explorers, we need a certain mindset. Think curiosity and adaptability. Approach AI with childlike wonder. Every tool is a sandbox. Every failure, a lesson. Let's stay open to discovery. Okay, curiosity and adaptability open doors. But in a world of endless AI options, how do we find what truly matters? That's where discernment and critical thinking come in. It's about honing your inner critic to filter the amazing from the merely flashy, to align AI with your goals. Discernment as filter. With endless possibilities, discernment is our filter. It's about shaping tools to reflect our values, not the other way around. Ethical action. Ethical AI means making conscious choices with each project. Filter options not just by what works, but by what aligns with your vision of the future. 
Even with a discerning eye, this tech landscape is overwhelming. Navigating it requires teamwork. Let's talk about the power of collaborative learning, creating communities where we can share discoveries, troubleshoot problems, and keep pace with this rapidly changing field. For example, in my Discord, over 800 creative professionals are diving into AI together. We're sharing experiments, projects, and those aha moments. That kind of collaborative learning environment is how we all get ahead. Throughout this talk, we've explored practical AI tools and the mindset shifts needed to thrive. Yet, there's a question lurking beneath the surface. What might we lose in our rush to adapt? I began this talk confronting you with a statistic about job loss. But the real disruption AI brings might be even deeper. What happens to our sense of purpose, of self, when the work we do for decades can be learned by a machine in days? This isn't just about job security. It's about navigating a world where the lines between human and machine blur with each new AI breakthrough. We need to adapt, yes, but how do we do that without losing the core of what makes us human? This is the adaptability paradox. It's the tension between rapidly adapting to new technologies and preserving our core identity in a world of constant job disrupting change. The industrial revolution, the factory replaced our craft, machines made us cogs. That was the first shift. The digital age online, we fractured into a thousand digital masks. We gained connections but traded privacy for convenience. The age of AI. Now, AI doesn't just replace our tasks. It mimics how we think. Are we the decision makers or are we becoming curators of the machines we build? As technology mirrors, even surpasses our abilities. What makes us uniquely human? How do we stay grounded in who we are when our tools can replicate so much of what we do? From screeching dial-up to seamless AI, each upgrade has reshaped me. How do we change with the times without forgetting the password to our own souls? This isn't just about me. Look around you. Can we redefine what it means to be human or will this paradox ultimately break us? In our rush to adapt, let's not lose sight of who we are. Our essence cannot be reduced to a digital profile. Imagine using AI to design a product that helps seniors live independently or create a virtual art exhibit that connects people across continents. These are the kinds of world-changing projects that get me fired up. If you're working on an ambitious project and think my unique perspective on AI could be an asset, let's connect. Want to network or explore potential collaborations? Scan the codes for quick access to my LinkedIn and Discord community. Now, let's use AI to unlock our potential, build a better future, and become the most creative, compassionate, and connected versions of ourselves.